Hello friends, welcome to CSAP Space. Today in this video session, we will start a new tutorial on uh, ASP.NET Core 2.0. So, uh, in first part, uh, we introduce uh, ASP.NET Core 2.0 and we take uh, one demo project where I will describe every aspects of this project. So, let's start. ASP .NET Core is a new version of ASP.NET by Microsoft. Is uh, it is an open source web framework which can be run on uh, any platforms like uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. You can say that ASP.NET is a complete rewrite from scratch, and uh, it is open source and uh, cross cross platform. And it is initially launched as a uh, ASP.NET 5, but uh, then later it rename as a sp.net core so in for uh, creating a project for demo project uh, we need to set up an environment to run this applications so we need any id like a uh, uh, visual studio to 2017 and the .net core sdk you can download from this links uh, here you can download a latest .NET Core SDK so we now start a take a create a projects and we introduce every files step by step now here we create a project for, for ISP.NET Core application we click on a new project now uh, in this pop-up here we choose a ASP.NET Core Web Applications in here uh, we rename our project name it's like a push push core app Now it's uh, creating for a project for a first core applications and here uh, we select a .NET Core and here it's a different version of ASP.NET Core it's like a 1.0, 1.1 and 2.0 here in this project uh, I will take a ASP.NET Core 2.0 so I select it and uh, template as a web applications model view controller it's a MVC platform so we select this web application and uh, click on ok now this uh, creating a project for a first core app applications it's taking some little bit files little bit time to adding up files now project is uh, created so we go to our solution explorer and here uh, it's uh, containing all the folders and files that is required for uh, creating a uh, core applications these are the dependencies these are the analyzers new get packages sdks and uh, this is the properties this is the launch settings.json file this files is using to launch the applications and uh, configuration settings for uh, launching this uh, core applications it containing the IAS settings profiles core apps and uh, this uh, you so uh, I will describe uh, in details of uh, for this launch setting dot JSON file this file is used to launch the applications in different modes like uh, IS Express web project name so here we can you can this this is the IS settings IS Express first core and this all these settings is uh, visible inside uh, this uh, debug sessions here here uh, you will see all the settings and uh, modes available 
into debug section it's IES Express it's a first core app and this for a browser browser setting IES settings is for browser and IES Express for this and uh, this is the project name project settings for this so this launch file is using like uh, to setting the configurations and uh, different parameters that is required to uh, launch the sv.net core applications and here each profiles and environments variables runtime versions to use and its command name is also defined so here it's like a command name and this for the environment variables and this for a launch browser is true or not when you launch your application using any of these options setting defined in the launch settings will be used for your web applications so now we go on a next files this is the www root it's a like a, a root folder of this ASP.NET core applications this uh, ww root is the folder in ASP.NET core project is treated as a web root folders like in a traditional uh, traditional projects like in ASP.NET MVC and uh, ASP.NET web form we directly stored uh, static files like uh, javascript css all stored in a folder but in ASP.NET core we stored all these static files under the ww root folders and access with a relative path to that root the files that are outside the ww root folders is not accessed and blocked by the http request so generally this should be separate folders for the different types of static files such as the javascript css images libraries etc this is like a css images so libraries bootstrap jquery and different different types of folders see this is the favicons and this this all this the controller models views and everything it's, it's like a mvc apps here we write a um, inside input logics here we create a business logic and here we create a view for a user and one more things uh, in a launch.json file it's a environment uh, is a sp.net core environment so it's a environment is like a in which environment uh, your sp.net core application is running like uh, environment is uh, in a different stage stages like a uh, uh, it's a development stage staging stage or a production so you can specify the different and unique settings for all these stages means you can run a set of code that only run in a development environment and set of code that running in staging environment and some other code that only run in production environment and uh, according to that environment you can also set their error pages exception handling and etc and sp.net core user environment variables called sp.net core environment that contain uh, properties here like uh, sp.net core development sp.net core environment is equal to development or production or anything that you like so now we go to our project and here we go to our next files this is the app setting.json in sp.net core we don't have anything called like a uh, web config means uh, in traditional in uh, in traditional projects we are uh, like sp.net uh, forms and sp.net mvc uh, we use a uh, web.config files where we stored uh, connection strings and some uh, app keys and the configuration settings for a project but here uh, all this information is stored into app setting.json file 
here uh, is file name is like a asp.net uh, app settings.json to store that similar information there are few common uh, use cases when we need to maintain the multiple app settings.json files in a single solution like uh, here we can set a app setting.json file for multiple environments like this uh, this first app setting.json file is only used in production environment this use in only development environment and this use only in staging environment this automatically change according to the environment so now we go on a another files uh, this for a bundle config.json it's a, it's like a bundling that uh, we used in a uh, mvcs or asp.net forms it's a uh, output is like a dot main dot css means it in uh, taking a input as a any css or a js and then minify that files uh, for is increasing your speed and improving your application performance so that's it this all this configures bundle config json defined is the options for each bundles in the preceding examples a single bundle configuration is defined custom javascripts and style sheets that it's uh, containing a uh, parameters like uh, output file name the name of the bundle file to output can contain a relative path from the bundle config.json file that is required input that taking input files here and uh, taking like uh, unminified version of the your files uh, which as with the CSS or a JS and then return a minified and then this is the source map uh, flag indicating whether to generate a source CAD map for the bundle file it's op optional uh, and default is null default is false now we go on our next files it's a program.cs uh, it's like a console application that we used in a uh, console applications here is the entry point for a public static wide mans and this and and that containing is a i web host build web host the sp.net course is web application is like a console applications which uh, start executing from the entry point public static wide man this one in the program class where we can create a host for the web application the main methods call method expression build web host this uh, this method build a web host to build a web host with a pre-configured defaults the build web host expressions can also be written as a method that returns i web host that return this variables i web host the build method the web host is a static class the web host is a static class which can be used for creating an instance of the i web host and i web host builder with pre configured defaults this uh, create a defaults builder so the create default builder methods create a new instance of the uh, web host builder with the pre configured defaults Internally, it configures a crystal IS integration and other configurations. Uh, these are the settings means like a crystal IS integrations and other configurations we uh, manually configures in ASP.NET 1.0, 1.1. But in 2.0, it's uh, uh, it's automatically configured uh, by calling uh, this method. now we go on the next file this is the startup.cs uh, so it's like a global.ajax in a traditional .NET applications uh, like in uh, sp.net web forms and mvc we use a global.ajax files 
so uh, same configurations and uh, functionalities that is used here in a startup.cs uh, it's name like that uh, run uh, when you start the your applications so it is executed first when the application start the startup class can be configured using use startup t so uh, it's called uh, this method is a huge startup uh, methods so at the time of configuring the host in the main method of a program cs yes. so we use uh, this uh, huge startup this huge startup and this is the file name uh, you can also uh, rename this file name dot uh, means startup dot cs you can change the near name like a uh, my startup dot cs and then uh, you enter this uh, class name to here huge startup and provide this class name so that is a functions for a uh, startup dot cs so now uh, we run this applications we are uh, run this application using IS Express so now build uh, is succeeded now uh, this application is run on a, uh, any ports like uh, here it's running on a 5844 it's loading a home page and firstly it's launch startup.cs and going uh, find the route for this Uh, this call a uh, uh, home index action method because it's uh, by default configured into startup.cs files here uh, you can watch this that controller name and uh, its action name and action name is index here we can uh, describe this into this home controller.cs it's a uh, index i action result method it's a interface action result and this all this the about contacts and error messages here uh, we define the error if any error is occurred then uh, this showing that this action method is a error and here it's checking if the um, environment is the development environment so it's saying that pages otherwise user developer exception page otherwise if environment is like a production or staging then this go for this error pages so here this is the default page uh, for uh, sp.net core applications and here it's about pages and this is the contact pages so all this uh, is a uh, how you start uh, your first project in sp.net core 2.0 and uh, this is uh, some basics ideas how to uh, creating some basic application in sp.net code 2.0 so in next video session uh, we will describe how to connect a database with sp.net code 2.0 and perform some uh, operations like we fetching the records from database and display in a table of form on a view so thanks for watching if you have any questions any problem please write in a comment box and if you like my videos please click on a subscribe button and notification bell then you will get a latest updates so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session